Will modern women ever admit their mistakes? 9 out of 10 times the answer is no, but here's the kicker. When a minority admits they were wrong, you can find a lot of funny stories of women regretting their past decisions. And I'm not talking just about picking and choosing the wrong guys over the nice guys who were ready to give them a life of provision, protection, and resources. I'm talking about a whole mindset that still to this day is sponsored by governments and corporations. This mindset, or rather new age religion, is called feminism. It's an ideology that has infected the minds of women and even men. Think about it, you probably have seen multiple guys flexing that they watched the new Barbie movie, as if that would give them better chances of getting laid. Anyway, feminism has become a core part of Western culture, but thankfully, the truth is slowly but surely coming out. Do you think feminists want equality or do they want power? You can't have quality without power. Well... If you're powerless, you can't be equal. That's a really good one. Oh man, I don't even know because like, you know, you can, I mean, you could fight for equality and everything, but if you think about it, essentially, we're, we've already, for the most part, reached equality because if like, any job that's gonna hire a man will more than likely hire a woman as well. So that's honestly a very good point. You're right on that one, for real, for real. Honestly, I don't know what, I, I don't know. Can't really be asking for nothing if you really are, are already, for the most part, have equality. Feminism is a scam. A few years ago, I was an angry, blue-haired feminist. I once believed that male privilege was real and that I was a victim of the wage gap. Now that I understand the true motives of feminism, I know that this could not be further from the truth and that modern-day feminism is a war on true masculinity. Before women had the right to vote, most were stay-at-home wives, which meant they weren't working jobs and couldn't be taxed. Our overlords didn't like that. Rockefeller started funding feminist campaigns in media, and as a consequence of the movement, women started entering the workforce and leaving the home. Children would then be separated from their parents and sent to Rockefeller-funded schools to be indoctrinated by the state. All of this ultimately disrupting the family unit at its core. Feminism is defined as the belief in social, economic, and political equality of the sexes. But in the West, I must ask, what rights do men have that women don't? Modern feminists are convincing women that hookup culture, using hormonal birth control, and not shaving is liberation. That toxic masculinity is prevalent and the patriarchy must be dismantled through movies and media, we're taught that working for the man, climbing the corporate ladder, and paying tax is more empowering and valuable than raising the next generation. Women have lost touch with our natural loving instincts, and birth rates are plummeting. Working, hustling, making money, competing, and the list goes on. Sorry, just welcome to being a man. The ideology of feminism is deadly not only for men who see that feminine women are a rarity, but also for women who do what's in their power to become undesirable to men who want a wifey and not a battle. In today's video, we're delving into the funny things women say when they regret accepting feminism, why they often realize this too late, and what men are doing about this. Stick around because I'm sure you're going to love this one. But before we go any further, let me share the comment of the day. Shout out to Blue-KE5SB, he said, Men drop thousands of dollars to travel to other countries that they're unfamiliar with, and these women still don't understand that they're the problem. Nothing will ever force them to accept accountability, and it's so tiring. Isn't that the embarrassing truth? Please don't forget to reach out to us by email to claim your $5. As usual guys, I'll pick one comment from each video. It may be the funniest, the most liked, or one that touched me. So don't forget to leave a comment and you may be your next winner. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons too as it helps a lot. And now, back to the video. Embrace your masculinity. As you might know, feminism is, on paper, a movement that advocates for equality, women's rights and pretty much things that no one could ever agree with. Yeah, it all sounds good, but it ends up being a movement of female supremacy and revenge. Basing themselves on patriarchs and male authorities throughout history, feminists wanted to switch things up and become new rulers to restore balance to history. Looks like they just have to pay for what the quote-unquote unjust did, and yes, that's the real agenda. 
Whatever former kings, sultans, and rulers did is not under any man's control, so it'd be fair to think that punishing an entire gender for that would make zero sense. Well, to these crazy-ass women that call themselves feminists, it does. You might be a gentleman, a guy that pays for dates and holds doors, but in the eyes of women, you're a potential criminal who gets involved in dark activities such as harassment and the restriction of women's rights. Most men out there don't want to harm women, and in fact, real criminals often end up in prison for their crimes. I mean, for example, those men who force women to have sex with them and all that stuff. Who wouldn't be against a waste man like that? Well, most states out there fight all these punks and impose severe punishments. The majority, except for California, of course, by allowing them to go to women's prisons just because they identify as women, committing the same crime again. Such a clown world, I know, but at least these tragedies are waking people up. Feminism is a scam, and what we've been witnessing in recent times is just proof of that. When everyone can identify as whatever the fuck they want, how are you going to think that person is a woman? This illogical reasoning is giving feminism less credibility by the day. But this is nothing but a fraction of what's happening. You see, the fight for women's rights, which they already have alongside tons of privileges, has become a never-ending commercial campaign. Yeah, you know, it's all about the money. While naive feminists think they're doing something amazing for the world, the rich people in the shadows rub their hands knowing that they can make a bunch of money while giving the impression that they're doing something for women. Yeah, women nowadays do get the custody of their children, alibody, child support, and pretty much everything under the sun to destroy a man's life. What's the real consequence of that? Men don't want to get married, and women feel lonely and miserable. Oh, and females objectify themselves as if that was empowering. I got a fat ass and a fat heart. Why do they always say stop objectifying us? And then when they ask, why should someone hook up with you? And they default to my ass is fat. My tits are big. Make it make sense. Please explain to me why it's okay for them to objectify themselves, right? It's insane. It's super empowering, right? The sexual revolution, sexually empowered modern women. It's okay to flaunt your body. No, it's more than okay. But the moment a man objectifies them too, they go, oh my God, you disgusting pig. How dare you look at me like I'm a piece of meat. I'm not excusing it. Why is cat calling? such a big deal I think cat calling is such a big deal because I'm not out here dressed like this you can give a little pan of the outfit this is not for others view this is for me then why are you outside stay home wearing your boob shirt if it's for you why are you outside goofy you like being cat called you like the attention it's fun it gasses you up if this was for you then just wear it and sit at home alone in a room goofy and this is what I feel most comfortable in. This is not an invitation for you to come objectify me or decide that this body is meant for you. It's mine. Okay, and, I, and that's fair. I agree with that. Now, um, for a lot of women who say they dress for themselves, why do you often see women walking around in uncomfortable shoes and skimpy outfits when it's freezing outside? Because I made that money, and I'm going to spend that money on some cute heels, and I worked, why, though? worked on this body, and I'm going to show it off. Okay, so is it for you, or are you trying to show off for other people's attention? Which one? Doja Cat, Cardi B, and all these artists who call themselves feminists only promote female promiscuity, sexual liberation, and ideologies that have to do with female sexuality and banging new men every weekend. On top of that, they mock women who freely choose to be housewives as if they were the moral authority to determine what's righteous and evil. Yeah, these women are the ones claiming that they support freedom of choice. I came across an article about a woman who realized that feminism was a scam. It's really interesting to see how the whole narrative crumbles, especially when women realize it was all a lie and nothing more than a marketing campaign. Better late than never, I guess, but the past can't be undone. Let's check this out. U.S. activist Candace Owens recently spoke at Turning Point USA's Young Women's Leadership Summit in Texas. Here, she spoke of a change in her stance on modern-day feminism. The lady who used to be a strong advocate of feminism said she has realized all too late that it is a scam. According to her, feminism as a concept and practice is not aimed at uplifting others, but at tearing women down. 
the ex-feminist opposed feminist practitioners vehemently and even pointed accusing fingers at some celebrities who promote it. Even more, Candace spoke of a 55-year-old woman who shared her opinion on modern-day feminism. According to her, the lady voiced out how much she regrets dabbling in its practice. I read Candace's words below. What the left is good at doing is hijacking a term that once meant something and pretending that it's still the same thing when, in fact, it's not. If you want to see something toxic, tell a feminist who says they support every idea a woman has. Tell a feminist that you're not a feminist and see what happens. See the way that you get treated. I can't think of women that are nastier and meaner than the ones who exist under these hats, right? It was after this that she told the crowd about an upsetting comment she read online after having a conversation on the dangers of feminism with Ali Beth Stuckey. According to her, the comment was from a 55-year-old woman who said she fell for the modern-day feminist lies. I learned too late that feminism was a scam. Today I am 55. I am unmarried, I have passed the age I can have children, and I have to take medicines to help keep me happy, and that is the scam of feminism. If there's anything I could go back and do, I would have warned myself against the scam of feminism. I believe these voices like Lena Dunham and Miley Cyrus and Chelsea Handler are convincing women against themselves, telling women, you don't need a man, you don't need anyone, you should want to do everything by yourself, and if you do aspire to that, if you aspire toward nature, then something's wrong with you. So question, who created unrealistic dating expectations we have today? Where did it come from? Question. Women. women. I mean, let's not pretend. I mean, what happens is women will go through trauma, make poor decisions, and what they do instead of changing and growing, they will say, well, I have to level up. And I have to pick, I have to, they add more standards to what they're, the men that they choose. Instead of saying something's wrong with me, I need to take accountability and the choices that I've made, they will turn around and say, no, the men need to jump through higher hoops. Now, I come now with more trauma, baggage, probably kids, and everything else, but these men still, I'm now, as I age, I'm getting better like fine wine. I'm getting better like wine. And so they think that, that they keep raising these standards. I feel like I'm doing quite well in my career, but yeah. I still have pressures. Uh, people who are saying, you know, when are you actually going to see, succeed properly by having a baby? Yeah. I kind of find yeah. that slightly offensive. I'm 38. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've got through my early 30s uh, without that, without almost luckily, mm -hmm. when I look at what my friends have to deal with, with their children, mm -hmm. I almost feel a little bit blessed. Mm -hmm. What do you say to that? Well, I would say that it starts to get pretty lonesome in life after 45 if you don't have a family, you know, and so it's, it's easy to consider the utility of an intense career. And, and like you have a very high quality career too, you know, it's that, that's something that marks you out from maybe from, let's say, more typical people. And may, perhaps that's worth more of a sacrifice. But you're going to be, you're going to live till you're 90 in all likelihood, and it's not easy to consider your life across its entire span. What was feminism all for? Voting rights? Getting a job and working like men? Okay, go ahead and fight on the battlefield. Oh, at that point, women do all they can to go back to their gender roles, and still men are supposed to fight. Oh, and let's not forget that women end up realizing more often than not how competitive the job market is. The comfy job with free coffee and an air conditioner is what they want. They don't want to be firefighters, police officers, or other dangerous professions. And when they want it, they want to take an easier test. And you know what's funny? Feminists spend a whole lot of years saying that they don't need men, but when the wall comes through, and even when they're not fertile anymore, they want a husband. Then, most men don't want that type of woman because they come with bad habits, baggage, and personality traits that are far from what men want for them and their kids. Many men are happy to provide, but only if the woman at hand is a potential housewife. At the end of the day, what these women don't understand is that a relationship is based on cooperation and building something beautiful together, not telling the man how stupid or unnecessary he is. So corny, I know, but that's something many women don't want to understand or just understand too late. 
I came across another article that further explains why this whole feminist ideology is a big scam. The title is, Feminism is a Scam. I quote, How much of the feminist movement is actually for the benefit of women? The feminist movement refers to a series of social movements and political campaigns created by the inequality between men and women. Such issues are women's liberation, reproductive rights, domestic violence, maternity leave, equal pay, women's suffrage, sexual harassment, and sexual violence. The movement's priorities have expanded since its beginning in the 1800s and vary among nations and communities. That's the definition from Wikipedia. Now, we're even seeing opinions from women saying that feminism is a scam. The rights for women were established based on the need to tax women, gather more votes, and gather more money from half the population that was not paying any taxes because they were not working, not having any property, and so on. It's great that we can take big jobs, become prime ministers, enter the parliament, and be CEOs. The women who are accomplishing that truly are amazing and role models for many. But not all, not all women want to work alongside men. But what about the women who feel perfectly fine in their own homes, cooking, cleaning, and caring for their children, and not having to go every day to work in a dreadful office, or clean other people's toilets, or wipe tables for strangers, and bringing food for those who can't cook for themselves or won't, go take the bus every day, be cold, wet, and miserable, doing shopping afterwards, cooking every day at 6 p.m., folding some clothes before bed, and falling asleep, planning for the tasks she needs to do in her short breaks at work. Now, here's the question. What's wrong with a woman who prefers staying at home? The answer is nothing. It's just a preference. Just like a woman is free to sleep around and even society accepts and promotes it, a woman is free to be a housewife and make her husband happy. Sadly, most women have been tricked into thinking that serving a husband is bad, no matter how chivalrous or successful he is. The mere idea of accepting their nature is making women unhappy. Yeah, they can chase the bag, job, and whatever they want during their prime years, but when they're single and childless at 40 or even sooner, they realize that men in and of themselves are not a problem. Most men out there just want to build a good life for themselves and even get a loyal wife who will admire and respect them. Is that too much to ask? Unfortunately, it is. While a majority of women think that feminism is the grantor of women's rights and freedoms, many men are embracing the MGTOW philosophy and lifestyle because women's quality is at an all-time low. Better safe than with a bad chick by your side. I'm blessed to know that feminism is a scam. Like, at this age, I'm blessed. As a woman, you do reach an age and, you know, you're just sort of like, is that entirely satisfying? Like, is that what's going to bring me absolute happiness? You're sort of not allowed to talk about that, you know? There's a lot of shaming if you're a stay-at-home mum. I think there's a massive war on the family unit. But it's not just feminism. There's the feminization of men. So they're trying to make men more feminine so that women then have to rise up to fill that void and provide for themselves. Stay strong, guys. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn, what do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you will get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video guys, till next time.